Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 now. Specifically, I'm going to be reviewing the new battle gun that we got uh, this week. Uh, sorry this one's a little late, but dude, like, <laughs> yesterday's state of the game, plus Outriders, the demo for the Out Outriders game came out yesterday, and then the TWAB. It's just it's a lot of stuff came out yesterday, and uh, just also weapon reviews that I'm doing. It's, there's a bunch of stuff happening right now, which makes me excited because it means I'm bit, uh, keeping busy. And content always good so let's look at this uh, battleground cuz I like it and uh, don't like it at the same time it's uh, very familiar so let's talk about the good or the bad parts first let's get that shit out of the way first and foremost uh, this is basically a glorified uh, this is a glorified public event uh, if, you, if you guys have done any public events in Nessus specifically the one I'm talking about you guys will know that this is like almost copy and paste of that uh public event that's really that's really the only negative portion because after you complete defending the ghost then it opens up to the actual encounter which is you going through the if i remember correctly this was a mission in Ness no not Ness in um io it was a strike sorry and it's basically that strike in battleground form what's really cool though is that i actually think these portions are a lot more unique because in this portion we have to basically kill waves of enemies and then once uh we kill enough enemies then we uh a cabal boss will come kill him and then he drops an orb and then you take the orb and throw it at a a wyvern and then you have to kill all three wyverns to proceed to the actual boss encounter. The boss encounter is pretty cool because you fight a big ass scion that has the dumbest fucking moves. And I mean that like just not as a negative. I just find it funny because he has the cabal like lightning chain gun. And it's annoying because shit hits hard. But it's also hilarious because he, you know has this move where he calls like electricity from the fucking air and destroys you with it if you're not careful so i i thoroughly liked everything but the beginning portion i think the beginning portion is very weak because you know it's basically a public event and then after that it really does open up to something a little bit more fun in my opinion uh i did like this one a lot i was not expecting another nessus one but it was probably in the roadmap and i just forgot Overall, I did like this one a lot. I think this might be the last battleground that we get unless we get a new one later on because I don't think we're getting a new one in the in the battle pass. I would like to see like a a battleground where we fight like uh, the queen or the empress whatever her name is. That would be really cool. Give us a really cool like I would love to see a battleground that's not in the battleground rotation and acts kind of like a little dungeon, not dungeon, that's too much I know, but kind of like a little strike where we go through we battle her best of the best and then from there we uh we battle her directly uh, i think that would be really cool that in all fairness that might be the new strike that we're getting in this season so we'll see but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below i did enjoy this one a little bit uh more so than the last one we got mostly because did we fight a scion I, I like fighting scions they're cool i don't know what it is so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I have a bunch of videos planned, obviously. Still have to finish up the the State of Destiny 2 videos that I that I cut down and put into portions because I didn't want to make an hour video. Mostly because my channel's not that big enough where people would watch the whole thing. Shit, people barely watch like my 10 minute videos, so I gotta stay in my lane right now. But yeah, be safe guys, you know what's happening, all, and I'll see you guys later.